when your child returns back to you after spending time with their other parent. You look at your child and maybe they left some things behind or their clothes aren't quite as nice as the ones they left in. Your child might be sent home in a shirt that's a bit too small or maybe the toy they left your house with didn't come back with them. How do you respond? With anger and agitation? Or do you say something to your child about it? Do you demand to know where the articles of clothing are? Do you immediately turn to your ex and ask him or her about it in front of your child? It's so common for divorce lawyers to hear from clients because they're unhappy that clothing and other things leave the house and don't come back. They call up their lawyer and want it fixed. But here's the thing, when you hyper-focus on belongings coming and going, you can potentially transfer stress and anxiety onto your child because they start to pick up on your feelings about the subject. They start to get nervous if they leave something behind. They start to ask permission to bring something to the other parent's house as if doing so is wrong. How about you reframe the way you think about your child's belongings? It's not about your ex. It's not like if your child leaves a pair of new sneakers behind, your ex will be wearing them the next time you see him or her. It doesn't matter who bought what. Your child's clothing and possessions are theirs. The parent who purchased the item did so for the child's benefit. Does it matter if the new sweatshirt ends up at your ex's house if your child still gets to wear it? Does it matter if your child wants to bring their new birthday present to the other home so they can continue to enjoy it? When parents focus on things, what they're really doing is saying, I bought the item and I don't want my ex to get the benefit of it. See how this is I-centered rather than child-centered? I worked with a couple once who figured out how to co-parent effectively and remain focused on their child regardless of their own personal feelings. They allowed the family dog to come and go with their child because their child asked if this could happen. And your immediate reaction to this might be to smirk or laugh, but think about it. The dog was a security blanket for this child and the parents were mindful enough to recognize that this had nothing to do with either of them, regardless of who paid the vet bills, but rather it had everything to do with helping their child to adjust to a new, redefined family. I'm not saying you need to share Fido, but I am saying you need to be mindful about why you want your child to come back to you with exactly the same things they left with. Things are things, socks are socks. They don't matter. What matters is that your child feels secure and loved and that you do your best to help them feel supported. Kids adjust to two homes and divorce, but it doesn't mean it's easy. Let's not make it any harder on them. And just buy some extra socks if they seem to disappear.